Hello guys, this is BlackKid489 again to t teach you another tutorial on how to play Project 64 2.1 uh, Netplay. Um, you need a few things of this. You need the program itself, the plugins, and you're also going to need a ROM, of course. So first thing you want to do is get a, go ahead and follow the link in the description to access um, three files. One is going to be this file right here. The other one is going to be this file right here, which is your Netplay plugin. And the next one is going to be your more uh not more to combat particularly, but any ROM game you have. Alright, so now we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and extract these folders real quick. Go ahead and bring that oops, sorry, close. Oh make sure you have WinRAR, that will also be in the description. If you don't, you should already have it, so I'm not even about to like, describe that. Go ahead and drag that. Done deal. Same thing with this folder. We're gonna go ahead and open it, wait for it to pop up, boom. Oh, I guess. So I guess I already have it there. Boom, and the same thing with the ROM. Boom, boom. All right. So now we have our files extracted. Let's go ahead and open the Project 64 2.1 and to our plugins folder. I'm also going to open up this one right here. You can do what you want to do. Keep a backup just in case. Go ahead. Well copy these two DLL files and put it right here just BAM just like that nothing else to do then go ahead and open up your Project 64 emulator go to OK go to options and go to settings then we're gonna go to plugins and then plugins um, first we're gonna set your video first of all if you have a really fast like a really beastly video card not even just that if you have a good video card decent one Let's say you can run games like Metal Slug 3 or fucking Awesome Knots. Then you're okay to run uh, Glide 64 for uh, Project 64. It, basically, the graphics are ama are basically pretty high standard. I won't say they're the best, but they at least make it look at least well enough for a, a computer. Otherwise, if your computer specs are really weak, go ahead and look at one. Go ahead and do Jabbles Direct 3D8 1.6. It is recommended for any slow, low spec PC. If you want to look at the description, what does little spec mean? Go ahead and Google that. I'm not going to tell you what that is. So I'm going to go ahead and hit that Glide 64. Then you're going to go to Input Controller Plugin. This is where it's important. Go to AQZ Netplay. This right here will set the uh, game to look for a server. So we're going to go ahead and go to Apply and OK. Now we're going to uh, refresh the, the project. I advise you to use Run as Administrator so you have full respect over this right here. Uh, go ahead and go back to your controller plugin and no adapters installed. What kind of myth? Oh, <laughs> my bad. I had the wrong one selected. Got me all fucked up. All right, my bad. Go to controller plugin and go select the Enrage Direct plugin 8 and go ahead and set your controllers. Go ahead, hit if you do what you want, Rumble Pack or none, blah, 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 blah. Assign the keys. I already have my controller assigned for my Xbox controller. Not recommended if you want to play 64 games due to the fact that 64... It's better with a 64 controller, just saying. Go to apply, apply, and you're good to go. Then go ahead and open your ROM. It's probably going to be on your desktop. Or if you want to be like me and you have a list of ROMs, go ahead and choose the ROM directory. So let me go ahead and set that up real quick. And 64 and then boom there are all my games for this for this game right here boom boom pow so like I said we just so it but if you don't have a list of ROM games not a problem go to open ROM and go to your desktop where you or wherever you downloaded your your ROM to and go to open up the N64 file or Z64 file whatever whatever pops up N64 and the Z64 file work on the same emulator so you're totally fine 
go ahead and open that up and it's going to go black and you're going to have a screen pop up that is asking you to go ahead and start your server now this is where it could get, can get a little complicated but not a problem first we're going to set your name your name that appears for your the other players go to the forward slash type in name and then space and then type in the name you predict i'm going to be blackhead 489 boom name has been set to blackhead easy now you're going to set your server port of uh, if, if you want to be the server basically hosting the game go ahead and do this part you're going to hit server and then pick a number between 1 and 6000 um let's say i pick 56 whoops i can't spell server Let's try it one more time. Let's go 56. Boom, server has been set to 60 fix, six, 56, and um, the lag is set to 5. I recommend lag at 65. If your internet is not the business, I would suggest lag at 3. To do that, you just hit forward slash, and then type in lag, and then the number you want to set it to. Just like that. But I'm gonna leave mine at five. Whoops! Stupid computer. I'm gonna leave mine at five. And then that's pretty much it. Your server is set now. What you want to do next now is that the 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 client or the person you, that wants to connect to you, they have to go forward slash connect, and then basically the IP address. So one point. Ba 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 ba. I fucked up. So yeah, like I said, connect first, then the IP address, and then space, and then the server, the server number that your uh, the, your host selected. So I selected 56, and then you press enter. You connect. Just like that. And I guess that's all there is to it. Um, you can also use Hamachi and or and or Evolve. If we don't know how to use Hamachi, I will go ahead and do that. I'll show you right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up Hamachi and turn on my server. Pro being that doesn't sound right to me. I promise. It just sounds really disgusting. And uh, once you're uh, person is online you can right click and see their IP4 which would know if you right click their name you just see it says IP4 address it says copy the IP4 address go ahead and copy that and then put it right here just right uh, right next to your thing and then and then, and then space and then the 56 just like that and I guess that all there is to it um, any other questions go ahead and leave them in the comment below um, pretty much it's pretty much standard from here to start the game once your player has connected go ahead and do forward slash and start and basically the game started Right. Thank you for watching. Um, there is there is there is a problem with desyncing, and for that you have to open your ports. So for say so if you selected the port, if you selected the port 56. You have to open that port in your router. Um, there are also YouTube videos on how to do that. I have a, my own way, so you know I'm not gonna really go into that. Uh, but yeah, uh, for some for some for a lot of um, lag issues. Um, Go ahead and uh, you, uh, for the port that you selected. So for say I did uh, start the server uh, 56. Um, I have to go to my uh, go to my router and open up the uh, fit port 56, both TCP and UDP. I don't I don't know which one works better, but I opened up both of them, and it pretty much solved our problem for uh, at least not I wouldn't say completely solved it, but it definitely made. Um, um, desyncing issue less of an issue anyways uh, thank you for watching appreciate it. leave your comments down below subscribe for more tutorials on shit like this and I will see you guys later